Now, that's that's very interesting. Can I ask you, can we jump, Peter, now to sort of your macro outlook, yeah. you know, on the economy? How do you feel about where Kenya is today? Are you confident that we're going in the right direction? And what do you think are the big trends that we need to look out for? In 2015? Um, in 2015, I mean, it's the one everyone's talking about. We've got the infrastructure spend. Yes. You know, infrastructure spend, like it, it's what took America out of the depression in the 30s kind of thing. Yes. So infrastructure, is, infra infrastructure spending is something that gets a lot of people working. Yes. So the more people working, the more money that's in the economy, the more money that's in the economy, the better ev off everyone else is. We have that. Then we have also, you know, like you, you keep mentioning that inflation is falling in Kenya. Yes. You know, a falling inflationary environment is good. Yes. Hopefully it doesn't go to the zero that or the below zero that you've predicted. <laughs> you know, <laughs> exactly. You don't want to be in a deflationary no. environment, right? But low inflation <laughs> is good because yeah. with low inflation comes low interest rates, which means that the banks, uh, consumers and industries can, you know, uh, yes. borrow more cheaply. So if you're an industrial company and you've been holding off and making some capital expenditures because it's too expensive, yes. now is the time to go and get a loan because you're paying a lot, a, lot, a, lot, uh, a much cheaper rate. And are we seeing that happen? Um, the rates are coming down a bit, yes. they're a bit sticky. Yes. And that's because I think the government, uh, you know, missed its tax, its fiscal targets in yes. terms of tax collection. Yeah. And um, in March, there's quite a few maturities as well in terms of government maturities. So it's quite lumpy. Exactly. So yeah. right now, I think they're they're borrowing a lot to pay off those maturities. Yes. So once once I see those uh, once they pay off those maturities, I think then we'll see. A, a reduction. Yeah, a reduction in the rate, yeah. But, you know, they, it hasn't been falling in tandem as much as it has with inflation. Inflation has been falling, but the interest rates seem a bit sticky. Yes. But I think it's because of those uh, two reasons. And and, in f and for you, do you th where, do, where do you play the bond market, for example? Because one of your funds, I think, is half in bonds. Are you yeah. are you du are you extending duration or or is there any tactic? I mean, in falling interest rates, yeah, yeah. you want to get a longer duration bonds yeah. because, you know, if interest rates fall, yeah. then the price of those lower... Um, longer duration bonds will increase uh, high a lot more. I mean, it, for our portfolios, I mean, in the, I mean, the high yield bond fund, that's something we can do. Mm -hmm. But for some of the insurance portfolios that yes. we manage, it's mandated by, you know, the RBA that you have to hold to maturity. Right. So you really can't trade on, you know, if interest you rates go down. You can't take, take profits. You can't take profits, yes. exactly. So it depends on which mandate you're talking about. But yeah, we are taking a, a view that interest rates are falling. So you yes. either lock in a higher coupon right now, mm -hmm. or you get la longer duration bonds so that when interest rates fall, the price impact is a lot higher. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, when you look at, if you look at the macroeconomic story, everyone's excited about Kenya being a gateway, yeah. about, you know, we've got all these multinationals, old mutual, yeah. uh, again, but, you know, we've got GE, we've got Google here. Are you optimistic that we are the gateway? Do you see any risks to that outlook? To um, yeah, I think, you know, the most common one, yeah. security. Yes. You know, that's one thing that will... Coming from Canada, how do you feel about that? I mean, what do you feel? Uh, For me, uh, to be honest, I mean, it's out there in the paper yes. more that things yes. are happening. Yes. Do I feel any less secure? I wouldn't necessarily say so. Sometimes when you go to a mall, it crosses your mind, you know? Like, what am I doing at a mall on Saturday? Yes. It's packed, you know? It crosses your mind briefly, but yeah. after Westgate, who, you know, it has to cross everybody's mind yes. when you're in a mall. You're only human. But for me, I haven't noticed anything, like, I don't feel more unsafe than I did yes. when I left. Yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like it's okay. more dangerous right now. Yes. So, but for me, I think the government needs to sort out its security. But you think that is, uh, it remains the biggest risk t to the economy? Yeah, right now, that, and also, they need to get their deficits under control. Yes. I mean, the fiscal deficit, it's, it's just widening. We're supposed to be improving our tax collection. Yes. But in tandem in that, we're getting that current account deficit as well. So yes. those twin deficits are not necessarily yes. a good thing for us. But with the lower oil prices, yes. you know, our current account deficit is going to be helped somewhat by that. Yes. But we need to get those under control, especially on the fiscal side. And I on think. the fiscal side, do you think there is, the, there is the will to get that under control? I think there is a will, yes. but I think there's also that moral hazard because, yes. you know, any time KRA falls short of its target, they yes. know that the government will just go out in the market, yes. borrow some more money, yes. plug that hole. Yes. So I think there's also that moral hazard that, you know, KRA will just say, okay, you know, yeah. even though we miss our targets, don't worry, the government will step in. So, and 17 billion, that's a huge miss. Yes. Right? It's not like it's a billion or something yeah, like yeah. that. 17 billion is a huge miss. So yeah. that's a big gap. That's a big hole to fill. Yes. Yeah. Now, b can I come back to UAP investments sure. and just uh, finish with that? How many people are here? 
Currently, we have uh, 15 employees. And w do you think you're going to have to, you, is it correlated to the amount of money under management? Do you see a big expansion coming? I do see a big expansion, yes. yes. I mean, right now we're trying to grow retail uh, retail clients. Yes. Yeah. So once we grow that. How, 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 how are you reaching to the, you know, what what is your price point? How are you touching the, the retail customer? Right now, I mean, it's through talking to you, for example, yes. you know, right. you have a very great base. And in, in terms of that, in, in addition, we also have, uh, we're stepping up our marketing efforts. So we're yes. putting a lot of ads in the paper. Yes. And then we also have insurance agents as well yes. that we can use to go out and... Your UAP insurance UAP agents insurance can cross-sell. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So they cross-sell our products as well. So we have, we have a wide network of... And uh, distribution, agents. obviously, I mean, is one of the big challenges in Kenya yeah. for all kinds of businesses. Yeah. So you're able to sell through your insurance agents, basically. Yes. So, and that must be quite effective, actually. It is. It is. Yes. I mean, I mean, it's you know, it makes sense because... UAP is trying to become a di uh, diversified financial services, you know, yes. company. Yes. So when an agent goes to talk to a client, you know, he sells them the whole suite of products. Yes. Whether it's um, you know, medical, life insurance, or general, and investments as well. Yeah. So you almost become a one-stop shop for everything financial. And with the entrance of uh, UAP, um, Old Mutual as well, yes. now we have access to that Faulu Bank as well. Yes. So this um, Old Mutual coming in, this Old Mutual and UAP marriage is, you know, I think it's a fantastic thing because yes. the synergies involved and the benefits from the uh, relationship, yes. the true numerous to count. Yeah. At UAP, we enhance lives across Africa to deliver the dreams we all hold so dear. Insurance, investment management, property investment, and financial advisory. UAP. Better Simple Life.